Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to Service Now Interview Guide. Today, I'm discussing one important question, which is a confusing question for many people who are switching into Service Now, who are new to Service Now, and even Service Now, you know, experienced people. Okay, so let me share my screen and get started. So this is the question: What is the difference between Service Now admin developer and analyst role? This is a very fundamental question, and I have seen this question on various forums like YouTube. LinkedIn, you know, I have uh, taken it from Reddit as well. Okay, so let me give you a simple, clear picture in a very, very simple terms. Okay, so let's start with ServiceNow Admin. We also call him as ServiceNow Administrator. So what an ServiceNow Administrator role do? Or what an admin do in ServiceNow? Okay, so the roles and responsibilities of an admin is like this. Manage user role data and basic platform configuration. Handle day-to-day -day maintenance, access control, form layout, and changes. Think them as a platform gatekeeper. So these three points are explaining the roles and responsibility of service administrator. So what they are doing, they have a system in place, okay? And they are doing day-to-day -day maintenance. They are doing the task which is necessary to keep on the operations going, keep on the day-to-day -day work going in service now admin. For example, let's say we have a banking client, okay? So his role is to maintain the system how by adding new accounts by removing the inactive accounts okay by providing various reports to the stakeholders by maintaining the system doing the basic level changes like adding a new field removing a new field doing some form level changes mean all the things which are needed to keep up the service going okay at present in production you can call them as platform gatekeepers because they are Maintaining the system live on production. Okay, they are very critical because their activity is supporting the live production, supporting the business directly. In the same example of banking, you know, if the system admin does not do his work, the platform may go down. Okay, so in that case, there is a loss of business. So that's why the role of service now administrator is very, very important. With the rising dynamics, it is important or it is good if the service now admin have some basic knowledge of, you know, development like uh, JavaScript and all so that they can troubleshoot the basic things. Okay, so this is all about service now admin. Now let's move to service now developer. Write script like business rules, script include, build automation, custom apps, work on complex integration, API workflow and logic heavy tasks. More technical, usually no JavaScript and ServiceNow architecture. So the role of ServiceNow developer need, you know, some kind of, you know, JavaScript or some kind of architecture knowledge of ServiceNow because they must be involving doing some kind of, you know, enhancement activities. These enhancement activities are increasing the capabilities of your current system as the business is growing continuously so that the demand of the users so based on that demand, various projects are going on and ServiceNow developer along with other developers or architects, okay, start to work on these demands so that you achieve what you are looking for in future so that you are not obsolete. He will create the custom apps, he will create automations, he will create business tools and script include to make system up to date. Up to date means coping with the current technology is coping with the current need of the system or the business. So we can say here, they are not working on live production, but they are working on project sprints, okay? And then they deliver what is expected from them. This is the work of ServiceNow developer. Now let's come to the third point, which is ServiceNow business analyst. It acts as a bridge between client stakeholders and the technical team, gather requirement, rights, user stories, validate solution against business need, less hands-on on the system, more focus on the process and communication. So basically, these are the people who are understanding the business requirements, what is coming right now or may come in future. They understand it, formulate it, and then explain or share it with the technical team. Okay, here technical team may be an architect or maybe a service now developer. So the role of business analyst need good communication, good understanding of the service now platform, not as a developer, but as a functionality wise, as a module wise, what each module is doing, what is the capabilities of each module, how the business is related to ServiceNow, okay? How ServiceNow can help in excelling this business component. 
So this is the work of business analysts. They are very good in writing stories or you can say they are very good in agile methodology. Whatever model you follow, uh, these business analysts are good in it and they are able to refine the requirements and direct it to the business needs and then share it with the technical team and further technical team or you can say service not developer work on these requirements and the cycle continues. So now you see the cycle. Business analysts are there to refine the requirements, to interact with the client and understand what their business need. So they took that advice, took that particular thing from the client and then created a story. Now, service not developer work on the story. And once that story is complete, it means that thing is in production, is in business now. And now service or admin will look after it on daily basis. So this is a complete cycle and these roles may overlap. Depending on the resources, depending on the criticality, it may overlap. Okay, so uh, this is it for this particular session. Okay, in short, you can see admin is config and control, whereas developer build and code. Finally, analyst talk and translate. So this in short is very important here. Keep this in mind and then prepare your strategy accordingly. Thank you so much.